Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to get user input using text fields in the FLET library. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, you need to create a basic FLET app. I have already written the basic structure of the FLET app. Now, let's add a text field to the page by typing ft.textField followed by round braces. Now, set the label property as you wish. For now, I am using name. There you can see a text field with the label name. Let's make the text field width smaller using the width property. There you can see the text field width has changed. Now to get a hint of the input, we will use the hint text property. To change the border color, we will use the border color property and set it to pink. There you can see the border color has changed to pink. Now to make the text field look good, we will curve the edges of the text field. To make the edges curve, we will use the border radius property and set it to ft.borderradius.all bracket 5. Now you can see that the edges of the text field are rounded. Now, let's change the text color. To change the text color, we will use the color property and set it to pink. You can see that now text appears in pink color. We will also change the cursor color using the cursor color property and set it to pink. You can see that the cursor color has changed, but the highlighted color is blue. Now to change the highlighted color, we will change the theme color scheme of the page and set it to pink as well. You can see that the highlighted color is pink. To add multiple lines of text in the text field, we will set the multiline property to true. Now, let's add padding to the content of the text field. To add padding, we will use the content padding property and set it to 20. There you can see that content is now shifted 20 pixels from the border on both sides. Let's capitalize the text. To capitalize the text, we will use capitalization property and set it to ft.textcapitalization.characters. Now what it will do is that it will capitalize all the characters of the text. You can also use other values of that property, like words or sentences. Now, we will add counter text to the text field using the counter text property. To change the value of the counter text, we will use the onChange property. The onChange property takes a function as its value. So, we will create a function name counter. In order to get the value of the text field, we need to store the text field object in a new variable. Now, in the counter function, we will set the counter text value to the length of the value and update the page. So, whenever the user will input a character, the counter function will run. You can see that the counter text value is changing as the user is typing. Now, to hide the text we will set the password property to true. You can see that the text is now printed in the dot format. Now, to unhide the text we will set the can reveal password property to true. It will add an eye icon on the right side of the text field to hide or unhide the password. Now, to add a helper text, we will use the helper text property. You can see that the helper text has been added. So that's it for this video. I hope you are enjoying this FLET tutorials. If you are then, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you next time.